Hey guys, Lonely Fanboy Floy here, and today, Forgotten Friendship has finally premiered. I watched the entire special, and I gotta say, it's way better than the other three 22-minute specials. As compared to the movies, I, it's kind of close. I mean, I could say that it's better than the first Equestria Girls movie. Anyway, I'm Lonely Fanboy Floy here, and this is my review of Equestria Girls Forgotten Friendship. The special opens with a song called... We got so far together. I think that's what the name of the song is. But in my opinion, it's a very decent song and a very great way to start off this special. And now, we meet yet another new character. And in my opinion, the better character than Jennifer and Glossio, in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Wildfire, who, for the very first time since Rainbow Rocks, has never gone corrupted by magic whatsoever. I know I'm spoiling, but it's the best part about her character. I'll get to that later. Since the Shimmer is president of the yearbook community, which means that all the yearbooks for Cantal Atai is about to be delivered. And then, they talk about the bad times while Sunset the Shimmer became a bully, but it's way behind them, especially that the friendship will always be remembered. Well, that didn't last long until the first commercial of this special. Also, Trixie is the main character of this episode by helping Sunset the Shimmer. Yes. The great and powerful Trixie, who only had one role, and that is in Rainbow Rocks, actually has a second role in the Quasi Girls in this special. The girls have ideas to take photos at the beach. However, when Sunset Shimmer arrives, everyone completely forgot that Sunset Shimmer is really their friend and only remembers her as a bully. And since that Sunset Shimmer has no other choice, she asks Princess Try for help, and... The only way to get help from Twilight is to, you guessed it, meet Princess Celestia after all this time. And I will admit, it's probably one of the best parts of the special and what people have been waiting for for a long, long time. They figure out that the Mirror Stone from Equestria went to the Mirror World. Yep, it's just like Legend of Everfree, where magic went into Everfree Forest and caused a lot of chaos. In my opinion, I can let this slide. You know, the magic going out of the portal and people still don't understand that's the reason why there's magic everywhere. I'll talk about that later, because in my opinion, I can let that slide on why it's okay. And during her search to find the memory stone, she tries to convince her friends that she really is her friend by showing her photos from the past. However, they still don't believe her. And we get more jokes of Pinkie Pie doing faces. Yeah, the humor in this is kind of mixed, but at the same time, it's tolerable to say the least. And after failing to get some friendship from her friends, she decides to turn her attention on Trixie. She thinks that she's the reason why all this is happening. However, Trixie was telling the truth that she didn't stole anyone else's memories. Trixie will help Sunset to help her problem, however, it involves the yearbook. And you can honestly tell that these two characters are just trying to get along, however, you know, they're gonna get along at the end. I know what I'm saying is just really predictable, but I've seen predictable pairings like this before where two people don't get along, but at the end, do get along. However, during that time, Sunset left her book inside her locker. And you can honestly tell that things are just getting more worse for Sunset Shimmer. And we figure out that Wildfire is the one who stole the Memory Stone. And not only that, she sings a song called Invisible. And the reason why Wildfire did all this is because she was getting sick of being bullied from Sunset Shimmer. And in order to get her revenge, she completely stole all the memories that Sunset was a part of her friends. I gotta say that Wildfire is pretty much my favorite supporting character in Equestria Girls in general. As for the ending of the special, Sunset and her reunited friends managed to defeat Wildfire with... Not only wearing amazing clothes, but the ultimate friendship of reuniting. Seriously, reuniting again is probably the best thing that they've done so far in Equestria Girls. Way better than the moments that they did in the past. Why? Because during the part where Sunset Shimmer is using her memories, look at those reactions. 
they completely remembered that she was right all along, and they completely mistaken her as a bully this whole time. Moments like this makes moments before the special way better. Seriously, I found this way better than all the moments in the Equestria Girls movies. And I'm not lying, I'm really serious. In almost all of the movies, Wildfire was always in the background. Because they show flashbacks on what Wildfire was doing most of the time in the Equestria Girls. This is why I really love the pairing of Sunset Shimmer and Wildfire. Yes, there's a new shipping. Sunset Shimmer and Wildfire. I hope I really hope that shippers will make this ship happen and make it more popular. It's one of the reasons why I really love moments where Forgotten Friendship can prove itself that it can take itself seriously but also really charming at the same time. As for the ending, okay, I have to admit, it's probably the most funniest moment I have ever seen in all the moments in the Crush of Girls. Seriously. I really feel bad for the girls who had to look at this. Anyway, that is Forgotten Friendship. And what do I think of it? It's amazing. I should probably get this over with. The reunion of Sunset Shimmer and Princess Celestia is by far what people have been waiting for since 2013. I mean, I can really understand why this is way important to show fan service to the fans. Especially that Sunset Shimmer has changed a lot, movie after movie, special after special, all because of her mistakes and gained her redemption. And when she's completely shy and guilty of looking at Celestia, and when Celestia completely hugs Sunset Shimmer, that is just very great writing for someone who's been waiting to see these two characters meet each other since 2013. Yeah, I know, it happened before the Equestria Girls movies, I'm just saying. Invisible by Rafa is a very great song. And not only that, it may be not as better than the other songs in the other movies, but it's still very heartwarming to listen to on how we get to see development of this character. Because during her past, she's always lonely all because of Sunset Shimmer bowling everyone, and she was the only one who didn't got a friend whatsoever. The moments that we see here pretty much proves on why Wildfire did all this, because he was getting sick and tired of completely getting ignored and getting dumbed down because of Sunset Shimmer. And when she used the Memory Stone against Sunset Shimmer, you can really understand how she really wants revenge over Sunset Shimmer after everything that happened. Now, I'm not saying this because I want to see stuff like this in the next special, but in the future, I really hope that we get a special involving Wildflower because I think they have a past on how she became so lonely and how things have gone a lot worse for her during the times where Sunset Shimmer was a bully and after that. And finally, time to talk about what everyone completely forgot about Sunset Shimmer. Now, when I saw this, my heart was boiling because it was very incredible. I mean, the trailers and promos made the hype all worth it because they didn't show a lot, which is a very great thing. They only showed the beach and that's it. When you make a classical special involving friendship, this is the perfect way to completely make the hype Bigger and better than Rainbow Rocks. Yes, even though that Rainbow Rocks is better than this, the hype to watching the special is better than Rainbow Rocks. The fact that everything that we've been waiting for really proves to me that this special is by far one of the best things that Equestria Girls has ever done. Trixie helping with Sunset is unique. However, the only gripe I have with it is that even though it's kind of cool, it's kind of like... Starlight Glimmer and Trixie working together. I know both Trixie counterparts are completely different, but you pretty much understand that Starlight Glimmer is kind of like Sunset Shimmer. I'm sorry I had to point that out there, but other than that, it's still a very great idea to have Trixie being the hero in this episode. Kind of. Forgotten Friendship gets an 8.5 out of 10. A very great special, and you have to see it to understand of how Equestria Girls has gone better. Well, from everyone else. Now, let me just talk about one more thing before I end this video. 
Yes, I am aware that Princess Twilight returned. Kind of. Only in this special, but not in the mirror world. Yes, I still have hopes of human and Princess Twilight interacting, and since I said everything that needs to be said, I'm still going to be hoping that in the next special, it will happen. You see, the thing is, after watching the special, I don't know what they're going to do next. And I'm really hoping uh, what they're going to do next is something I want to see. It's either seeing that the statue is leaking magic or completely having Princess Twilight and Human Twilight interact. Those are really the stuff I want to see next for Crusty Girls. So far, we have zero info because obviously I uploaded this the day the special was premiered, but still. I can understand that Equestria Ghost is being insane, and people have been telling me about that a lot. But the thing is, I just prefer Princess Twilight than Human Twilight. Again, when I get to the movie reviews and Summer Vacation, I'll explain everything, since everything changed when I became a brownie over the past year and a half. You say my obsession with Human and Princess Twilight interacting is getting old and annoying, but after watching the special and seeing the fan service at the audience want after all this time, I want my fan service. Because after seeing everything that they did, I don't know what they're going to do next. And I really hope that in the next special, it will happen for real. Because for one, even though the Princess Twilight isn't interested to go to the mirror world anytime soon, but you really need to understand that she did say in Rainbow Rocks, this isn't goodbye. This is just goodbye until next time. She always keeps her words. And even if people are happy that Princess Twilight and Flash Century aren't together because of the two worlds not being together because Princess Twilight is a pony and Flash Century is a human, I still make rants about it and I'm not taking those rants back. I'm being very serious. I really hope that sooner, hopefully sooner, it will happen. Believe that.